in this episode, I want to talk about The Walking Dead, The Death of Shane, and how it um is going to explode the series from this point forward. Um, just let everybody know there will probably be spoilers. So, um, forewarned, you guys can go ahead and click out the video if you don't want to be spoiled. Shane died last night on The Walking Dead. Okay, uh, not a big shocker for me. Uh, many people who watch the show just watch the show. Um, it might come to a big surprise for you, but not for me, because he died in issue six of the comics. And this is this one's issue, and issue 94. So he's been dead for quite a while. Um, I am one of those guys who i seen the first season, and I very quickly went out and bought all the comics. Um, I started with the reprints. They, they brought out The Walking Dead Weekly. That lasted up to issues 42, 45... Um, and from there on, I bought trade paperbacks, and I'm um, completely caught up in the comic book series. So, um, so now I very harshly judge the TV show. Maybe I shouldn't judge it so hard, but um, when you when you have a set mindset with the comics, you have it's sort of like if you're going to see Harry Potter and you read the books, you're gonna judge the movie very harsh compared to the books. I do the same thing with the comics. Um, but I, I don't really judge the show too harshly. Um, I, I actually love the show. I, th I take the show as sort of its own thing. But I really have a hard time trying to talk to people who are fans of the show. Because they're so stupid. And I don't mean like you guys out there in general. you know, Because I know people are going to be like, oh my god, here he is calling it stupid again. I'm not talking about like the overall general media is stupid because they love the show. That's not what I mean at all. Um... It's like, I was at work the other day, and some girl, I never even met this girl, she's sitting there saying, oh, I'm glad Dale died, you know, he was stupid, blah, 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 blah. But in the comics, Dale is a huge, huge character, and he lasts up until issue 60, maybe a little later than 60. You know, he, he's in the comics for over half the run, and um, it's very, very important, and, you know, if they never exploited this in this show, but he had a relationship with Andrea. Um, Andrea took his death real, really hard, and she wears his hat everywhere she goes now. And, um, you know, so Dale was a very, very important character, and he made decisions that were important. Like, um, in the next upcoming season, we're going to get to the prison, and we're going to get to the governor saga, which the governor is, by all, like, he's the venom of... of Rick, like, like, you know how Venom is the main villain for Spider-Man? That's what the governor is for Rick. I mean, this guy comes in, he cuts Rick's hands off, or his hand off. Um, he beats the crap and rapes, uh, w uh what's her name? I think I mispronounced it, McConey. Um, you know, and he goes and he slaughters everybody. I mean, he slaughters everybody. And, like I said, I'm going to be major spoilers here, but he, he literally, he goes in that prison... And I'm telling you, don't don't get too attached to the cast, okay? Don't get too attached to this cast because by next season, there may only be four people left alive in that cast that you have right now. Um, so don't get too attached to them. But uh, the point I'm trying to make was Dale was a huge asset to the to the, the overall group, and due to outside business politics within the film industry, um, the, the actor that played Dale decided to leave, okay? Uh, you can re wiki it, research and find out why. I'm not going to really go over that. Um, to me, it was a very sad episode. I felt really bad. It wasn't something I saw coming, sort of like uh, Sophia coming out of that barn, because in issue 94, Sophia is still alive. She's actually the adopted child for uh, of um, Maggie and Glenn. So she's still kicking in the comics right now. So that's something I didn't see coming. Uh, the one thing I've looked for every episode this season was when was Shane going to die? When was Shane going to die? He finally died. And when he did, it wasn't the way I wanted it to go down. Um, I thought it could have been very easily done with, you know, Carl. Because he was looking in the binoculars outside. You know, it would have been very easy for Carl just to go up and shoot Shane during the uh, confrontation between him and Rick, but they decided to have Rick, you know, go ahead and kill Shane, and then when a zombie rises, which it did in the comic, um, which happened, like, issue 
thirty something. He went back and uh, found Shane's uh, corpse walking, and he killed it. Um, they kind of reversed the roles in the show. When we're in the comics, it was Carl that killed Shane. Rick killed his zombies. Um, in this one, Rick kills Shane. Carl shoots the zombie. So it it they kind of reversed it, but it's it's all good. It's, you know, it's done. Um, now with Shane out of the picture, we can start. You know, stop having to worry about when they're going to kill Shane, when they're going to kill Shane. And get to the part where we get into this governor stuff. And then from there, we, we meet new characters. We meet Abraham, McConey. We meet Eugene, uh, Rosita. You know, there, there's a lot more characters out there that we can come across and meet. And um, just see what happens. Now, um, another spoiler here. In the governor saga, Lori does get killed. Okay, so is this going to happen in this season? Are they going to kill Lori after three seasons? Um, because we don't really know what's going to happen. Um, the best thing about the show is you never know what's going to happen. That's what I like about the show because it takes liberties from the comics, it takes the story from the comics, but they switch it around. Um, I've been saying since last year that T Dog in the show is actually Tyrese from the comics. Because a lot of people complain, well, how come we haven't seen Tyrese yet? How come we haven't seen Tyrese yet? There's no point in introducing Tyrese um, when he when his character is basically already established, which is T-Dog. Why would you have two African Americans, basically, who fill the same part? It doesn't make no sense when you have T-Dog. I mean, it, it could be as simple as next season, they're like, hey, T-Dog, what was the T stand for? And he would say Tyrese, and boom, Tyrese was there the whole damn time. And, you know, so... There was a lot of things they done different in the show that was different than the comics. Not saying it's bad. Um, it's just um, a lot of things don't make sense when it comes to fans talking about it. Um, such as I watched the show Talking Dead. They were like, yeah, so uh, Shane turned into a zombie and he didn't get bit or scratched. Because in the comics, the virus is airborne. So when you die, you come back as... A zombie. You have to be shot in the head or your brain stem has to be destroyed. Anyway, um, I guess I've been talking about this way too long. Um, but uh, overall, I thought last night's episode was great. Um, I like how they're reintroducing the herd again in the season finale. I can't wait to see that. We saw the herd in the first season. Or not the first season, but the season premiere of the second season. And now we're going to end the season with the herd. No doubt they're probably going to run through, destroy the farm, and that's what's going to bring up to the prison. Um, we didn't we didn't get to see a herd in the comic until like issue 70, and that was mostly what Abraham and Eugene were explaining what the herds were. And then when they, um, Rick and um, Andre and Glenn, all of them get to this new community, they get swarmed by a herd, and there's a lot of lives lost there. So um, overall, I'm glad they're introducing the herd because much of they shoot guns. They should have been through like five or six herds by now, you know. But um, yeah, so far I'm loving the show. Can't wait to season season. Can't wait to see the season finale. I'm um, glad to see Shane finally died. I'm, I was a little upset about Sophia and Dale, but um, the shock factor definitely keeps the show exciting, and it's the one show that I can't wait to watch every week. So um, tell me what you think. If you guys liked the fact that Shane died, give me a likes on the video. If you hate the fact that they killed Shane, give me thumbs down, okay? This is a poll. Thumbs up for Shane dead. Thumb down for Shane no dead. Okay, you wish Shane was still alive. Thumbs down. You're glad he's dead. Thumbs up, okay? Um, so go ahead and cast a vote. In the next episode, you guys are going to be happy to hear. Uh, well, actually, I got the wrong comic. But uh, issue 8 of Ultimate Spider-Man just came out with the Scorpion. I've read it. You guys know I like talking about Ultimate Spider-Man. It's probably my most controversial video on YouTube now. Um, so um, I'm going to break that down and review it on the next episode. So I'm Storm Zinc. That's my opinion.